guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be recreating Huda Beauty's Purple Obsession eye look that she has on her Instagram. And I believe this is on Instagram stories? No. This is on IGTV. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but I'm excited to be recreating this purple look right here because I do have the purple haze palette it's right here. So I'm excited to try it out. I have been recreating other people's makeup looks on Mondays. This is the second time I did it. Last Monday, I did Jaclyn Hill's makeup look and I will go ahead and put it right here for you. So I'm just excited to be doing this series. I do love recreating beautiful looks that I find all over the internet, whether it be Instagram, YouTube, whatever. So if you're excited to see how this purple haze look turns out for me, then go ahead and keep watching. So she does go in with some concealer or eye primer, whatever. So we're going in with the Master Eye Prep Set. Master Eye Preps, Prep and Set. Why do I still not know what that is? I use this like several times a week and I still don't know the name. I'm over here like Master Eye Prep. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so she did set the concealer with her Huda Beauty baking powder. So that's what we are gonna do as well. It's a very quick video because it is a Instagram stories video. So I have to be like quick to see what she's doing. That's the only reason I don't watch like TikTok videos for makeup ideas because it's just too fast. It's too fast for me. Like my old eyes cannot adjust that fast to see what you're doing. So this is the palette that she is using in the video. This is her Purple Haze palette. Um, I actually believe this came out just like a month or so ago. It wasn't very long. I just recently got this one and I've only used it one time. But I have like all of the little minis now thanks to, you know, Steven doing my Sephora haul. If you missed that one, check it out. But basically he got me every Huda Beauty mini that you can ever imagine. So, but this one I've only used one time and I do love purples. So I was like, right on my alley. So the first thing she does is she goes in with a blending brush and she goes into this darker purple here which by the way she has such a filter on like it doesn't even look like the same purple let me show you this you could this is how you could tell that there's a lighting on the filter like this is the purple she's using look how like not purple how not dark it looks that's crazy it doesn't even look like the same do i have the right palette do I have the, is it the is this is this right I mean, it seems right. It seems right. It's fine. Okay. Hers just looks different because of the, the filter. So she's going in with this dark purple and it looks like she's putting it all over the lid and blending it up just above the lid. So we're going to do the same. We're going to do the same. We're going to go in that dark purple. It's just so strange because it doesn't look like this color. Like that blows my mind that it's really that difference of a color just because of the lighting. It looks so, so stinking like bright purple where this is like a deep, this is a deep purple. The look is not going to be the same because the lighting is not the same. So I'm just covering my whole eye because that's what it looks like she did. And she just blended it up and out. I don't know that I like it. Don't know that I like it. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna go to the next step now that I look like I got punched dead in the eyes. So she goes in with this brown color and she blends out the edges. I think I went up too high. <laughs> I definitely went up too high. So she goes in with this color, but it looks like a pinky color on the video. But again, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. When I put the overlay somewhere on the screen, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Jamie, you're right. That does not even look. It doesn't even look like the palette color. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go in with that brown color and just buff and diffuse. Buff and diffuse. I do like it though, and it's very pigmented. Like there's nothing wrong with the palette. I just wish that if somebody, you know what I mean, if you're promoting a palette, and I don't care if it's your brand or someone else's brand. If you're promoting a palette, I feel as though you should be honest, and I understand like pictures get enhanced, that's fine. But don't enhance like the lighting so much that the palette looks like it's a completely different shade. She also, at the end, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek, she puts on like little star stickers. Uh, I don't wear those. I'm unpopular opinion. I don't like putting gems or stickers with my makeup, so I will not be participating in that. So she's going into a wet eye 
eyeshadow, little, like the old school ones. I don't have that. I'm gonna go in with just a regular brush and Morphe setting spray. She did wet it first though. So hopefully this will pick that up. If it doesn't, then I will just go ahead and I will pick it up with my finger. So she went in with this color right here. Okay, and she just put that all over her lid. Ooh, I love this. See, I love purples. I'm not a big fan of like the cool tone like this purple that I put on not because it's like whatever's there's nothing wrong with it I just it's not a color that I really prefer I'm also bringing my glitter up a little bit more because I have hooded eyes um I just don't prefer such a cool tone purple because it does make me look like I have not slept in like six years <laughs> yeah I really like this shimmer though so after she put that all over her lid, she then went into this shimmer right here and put that kind of on the lid but more to the lower lash area um, and not raising it up like she did the darker shimmer. So I'm not putting very much because I didn't want to completely change the color but I do. I think I love the, the second shimmer more. I don't know how I feel about this though and the cool tone purple. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think she has a lot of that cool tone. I think I put too much of that purple on. Alright, so she goes into two colors this time. She mixes this one and this one together. So she mixes these two together and then goes over the edges, like up here, and kind of just blends this all together, which I really like because I'm not caring for this cool tone very much. So I'm going to go back in with that lighter brown color that she used and just kind of smooth out the top edges. The colors look so much more pink. So she goes in with a that a dark, I don't know what color that is, she didn't show it, but she goes in with a dark shadow and because there's not really a dark dark shadow in here, not enough to do a, a wing, I'm gonna go in with a different, this is the Huda Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I'm just going in with a black and I'm gonna do exactly what she did with the dark color and just wing it out. So then she goes in with her lashes. She doesn't say what style she's using, but I'm gonna be using the Lunar Beauty Lashes in the style Luna. So we're gonna hydrate the face with the primer and today I'm using like my new favorite combo, which is the Hangover RX by Too Faced and then the Water Jelly Primer by Huda. All right, so she goes in with her illuminating drops, but I don't have those, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Arc Cosmetics and just put some of those on. So I have it in the shade Pyrite, which I think I need to get it a little bit deeper of a color because this tends to, it tends to wash me out. So when I'm wearing it on like its own, it's just kind of pale. And today we're gonna go in with color correcting concealer because my eyes are super dark underneath. Becca Cosmetics is closing down, if nobody heard about that. I was really upset, which that's what I'm going in, by the way, is the backlight targeted by Becca. So I found that out later or earlier last week and I'm like really upset about it. So I went to buy this like eye correcting stuff that everyone was talking about. It's sold out. Like it's gone. I'm going to be going in with my Huda Faux Filter Foundation. And it's this one and I have it in the shade Macchiato. I should not really show what foundation she went in with. So I'm wondering if she did wind up going in with that foundation but it was before it actually launched. So she couldn't show what it was. Because in the video, she's like not really showing what she's using for the most. She did show the illuminator drops, but I don't think she showed the foundation. I'll have to go back in and look. And like, look how much brighter my under eye looks. Like, it just looks so good. Alright, so we're going to go in with concealer. And I don't have any Huda concealers, so today we're going to go in with ColourPop. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to go be going into ColourPop concealer for my contour bronzer situation. And yes, I put dots all the way down because I don't need, I don't need a ton. Do you know what I mean? I just don't need it. She did her concealer and then she did her bronzer, but I'm just gonna do both since they're cream. And again, she didn't really, I think for her bronzer, I think it was her, um, her cream bronzer that she has, but she didn't really show it. I guess because it's like so short and quick. But I thought like IGTV, you had like 10 minutes or something. I wonder why she was doing it so fast. See, this is why I usually don't use cream. I just don't like how it looks on my face. 
So, but she used cream, so I figured I would go in. And I don't really have any cream bronzers. I think I have like one from Kylie. Kylie. Yeah, it was like the Kendall and Kylie um, collab that they did. And it's so cool tone, it's not even funny. So now we're gonna put our powder on. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and put on my setting powder because that's what she did in the video. And I'm just going in with the same setting powder that she used, which was her Huda bake one and I'm using the shape banana bread all right so I'm just gonna take a clean brush so the reason I do this is because it literally just blends all of everything together so now that she's done baking let's use a one highlighter she uses that body highlighter that she has but another thing that I don't have so I picked I picked to use the Greek Goddess by Lunar Beauty Palette and I'm going to go in with this color because it is similar to that nice flower highlighter she has. She didn't put any blush on. We're not doing blush. I guess we're not doing blush. We're doing, we're doing no blush. We're doing no, she did no blush. We're doing no blush. Here we go. Highlighter and bronzer today, huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm going in with the Dewy Set from ABH. I don't, she didn't do like an under eye. She didn't do, oh my god. This has me at a loss for words. Oh, she did do the under eye. She just did it off camera. So while I'm letting that sit there, I just found out that she did do her under eye. She went in with a mix between this purple and this one again, like she did with the, um, the lid. So I'm gonna go into both of those colors and give it a shimmy down here. So I'm sitting here like she really did not go into her under eye at all. Like that's such a weird thing for me. Now I feel better. Still not excited that there was no blush used, but watch there have been blush and she just didn't show it. She doesn't look like she has any blush on now. Very cute. I'm loving this. It definitely does not look like hers. And it looks like she uses a lip liner, which I don't have, but I did decide to go in with Trophy Wife, which is her liquid liner. I thought this would look really pretty with that look and now I'm looking in real life and like my whole face is like legitimately purple see I feel like this would have been better with the actual color that it looks like on her IG story but I love this lip her liquid lipsticks will forever be one of my favorite liquid lipsticks like it feels nice it looks nice so much comes out on the wand like it's so so good so good like hello so she did those heart gem those star gems I, i'm not doing that i'm not doing that so i think that she's absolutely beautiful i think she's beautiful all of the time i just wish she would have shown the true to color that the purple haze palette is my look is way more purple which is what this palette is it's purple haze it's not pink haze it's purple haze so but I wish that I would have put blush on because I kind of feel like makey. Like I have to have, oh, I have to have blush on my face. I have to have blush on my face. But we've already done what we've already done. We've, we've completed it. We've completed it. So here it is. Ooh. But that is it, guys, for this recreation Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what do you guys think of this look? What do you think of this palette? Do you guys have the Purple Haze palette? Is it something that you're thinking about getting? How do you feel about the color purple? Let me know all of the good things down below. And if you did like this video, make sure you do give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week, and you do not want to miss out on those. And I will see See you guys on the next one. Bye!